Well, it's another beautiful day, and uh, today on the Obonifu Forum, we have invited a young entrepreneur, also innovator, our lovely sister, Gracie Magoma. And my name is David Wakarungi. Gracie, you are most welcome. Thank you. <coughs> As you introduced me before, I'm Grace Diki Magoma. Mm, I graduated on 2018, and now I'm a founder of Sincere Product Hair Growth Solution Company that is dealing with helping women who, who have got damaged hair. So that is all about my company is doing. This is hair shampoo that it helps in moisturizing your hair, it helps in preventing dandruff, it helps in making your hair to grow up very fast. After that, we have to use Sensei ACV that helps in, in it helps in treat, removing dandruff. After that, we have to use rose water that helps in boosting the hair growth. We have got two types of steaming such as protein steaming and moisturizing steaming. By starting with honey protein steaming, this helps in moisturizing our hair and it, use, it is used by the high porosity hair people. This is sincere natural oil that helps in preventing from having dandruff but also it helps in it helps in improving circulatory body and it helps in growth of our hairs yeah that is all about our products and i do help them through social media networks such as facebook where by i'm found by the name of jinsia kusaidia wanawake and on the side of Instagram page, I um, found the Sincere product, but on the side of WhatsApp, they found me on the, on the number 0767694582. Through that number, you get me freely. Yeah, that is all about me. You have been doing such kind of uh, entrepreneurship and innovation for almost three years. But you are, young, you are still young and you are still a junior in such career. So what do you know about innovation and the creativity? Creativity is developing an idea that existed before. But on the side of innovation is developing the same idea that was developed before, but in an extra mile. Yeah, so that is all about creativity and innovation. Regarding on your creativity, innovation, and whatever you are doing, how was the process to bring your idea into, into life? The process started when I was among the victim of the damaged hair before, not less than 15 years, but fortunately I I found a mentor who helped me in solving my problem whereby for now I'm happy because I had no such kind of 12 inches hairs since 15 years back. So I'm very happy and I know I'll, I look forward to have more inches of hairs thereafter. Madam Gracie Magoma, it is absolutely clear that in a community which you are living is there is full of challenge of challenges. What are you doing innovatively to bring a solution? Yeah. So many challenges I'll be facing on the side of on the side of capitals. Also I've got students who, who are interested only in selling they only need products, but they don't need education on to know what are the sources of having damaged hair. They just need, they just need products. So it, it has become a challenge to me because I never passed 
I was never given such kind of education. But uh, I was given education first and the product followed back. But my, that, that is the most challenge that I'm facing. So I need, to, I need to give out education more and more so that they may understand me. Uh, thanks for good elaboration. But uh, Madam, can you tell us how is innovative your uh, social idea? is helping in tackling the saga of unemployment to youths. Because I'm also planning to employ people, so I think it will reduce the number of people who are, inter who, who are in need of jobs. So they have to focus and never lose hope. Though there are so many challenges, but they should not lose hope. Currently we are witnessing that every day the people, they just innovate, create daily from every part of the world. What's your plans in bringing more innovation? I want to have registration with my company. I want to, to engage with East African community, countries. I want on the side of having solution on damaged hair. I want to open small branches in each region so that may, they may help, they may be given the education on how to, to, to solve the damage here. But also I want to help, I want to have big forum that, such as online university, that will help me to reach everybody because 99% of women, they are on the side on, online, but also I need to, to deal with face, face natural beauty for those who are interested in, in using natural products only by not using any other manufactured product that causes a lot of diseases, allergies. So that is uh, my future plan. There is any contribution of TYSNs on backing up your innovation, your idea and the, the whole creativity? Okay. They have contributed to me so many things, such as partnering with them. I found friends, innovators, entrepreneurs who are very developed and they helped me in giving ideas on how to develop my products, my education, and even the, and even on the side of ideas. They are the ones who have, who have bring me up since I, I, I stepped on their seminars, yeah, they changed in my life on the side of education, on the side of talking. I never knew how to talk in front of, but I learned from Boni area. Any call or suggestion which you have to our government or any development stakeholders like European Union? I think they they have to put much effort in extra miles for young entrepreneurs. There are so many young entrepreneurs who have created, who have innovated so many products, but they have no support. And by them giving us extra mile support, they, they should even form a team that will be looking after those entrepreneurs who are already supported by not leaving them to go on with their own life it will reduce the problems okay madam gracie uh, the term is not friendly enough and the last but not least question i would like to know what's your advice to other innovators especially young ones First of all, I would like them to focus on what they have created and they should not depend to be employed by the government. They can employ themselves. I was able to employ myself and I'm telling them they can be able to employ themselves. This marks the end of our interview with young entrepreneur, creative and innovative lady Gracie Magoma. Gracie, thank you for coming and I wish you all the best in your process of innovating and creating as well as producing employment for your fellow youth. Yeah. Thank you for, wait, for watching and joining us. My name is David Wakarungi. Until next time.